And welcome sports fans to tonight's game. We're at the Clark Dem Gymnasium for a Tri-County Conference matchup tonight between the Campbell Camels and the host, Clarkton Reindeer. And this should be a good matchup. This is the first time that we've had both of these teams on YHC this year. So it's going to be some new faces tonight. And the Clarkton Reindeer having a very impressive season coming in this year at 9-4 and four so far in the season. One of the most improved teams in southeast Missouri and around our area. They won five games all of last year, already up to nine so far this year. Looking very good out of the Stoddard or the uh, Tri-County Conference so far this year. And the Campbell Campbells come in at four and nine. They come in at four and nine on the year. They're struggling a little bit so far, but uh, we still look for a good game tonight. Coach Fowler leading the Camels as he has for many years. Look for a distant ball, ball club out of them. And the Clarkton Reindeer as well. Coach Rob Harlow takes over for the Clarkton Reindeer. He's uh, been a principal for quite a few years and he's back into the coaching ranks now. And we'll be looking forward to see how he gets back into the mix this year. And he's done well with the Clarkton Reindeer so far this year. And we're looking forward to a great matchup tonight here in the Stoddard County, or the, ah, I keep staying in Stoddard County, but uh, here in the Tri-County Conference matchup between these two teams. I do not have a luxury of a sidekick tonight. I'll be playing the, uh, the Lone Wolf tonight. Tyler Wagner, your host here. And uh, still, yeah, we still look to have a good game here tonight between these two teams. And we're ready for starting lineups. And we'll get started first with the Campbell Camels. Starting at number one, 5'11", or 5'9", senior Joe Campbell. Number 32, 6'3", junior Taylor Mize. Number 21, 5'4", junior Slade Walker. Number 13, 5'9", senior, that's Cody Huber, and at number 31, Quentin Nichols. And for the home, Clarkton Reindeer. Starting number one, a 5'11 senior, Marcus Jones. Number 21, a 5'10 junior, Logan Blackburn. Number 24, 5'11", senior, Mark Jones. Number 42, a six-foot junior, Mikey Jones. Got quite a few Joneses here for the reindeer. And number 54, a 6'2", senior, Delano White. And the Clarkton reindeer headed up by Rob Harlow. And the Campbell Camels by Steve Fowler. And glad you joined us right here on YHC for this Tri-County Conference matchup. Like I said before, this is the first time we've had either one of these teams on YHC this year, so it's a privilege to come down here to Clarkton tonight to showcase these two teams. And it looks like we'll have Delano White for the reindeer to jump and uh, looks like uh, Taylor Mize for the Camels. And here we go. And the tip goes to the Camels. Joe Campbell bring it up off the left side. Huber with the ball over to Campbell. Walker with the ball now. And ball taken away. And it looks like we might have a quick timeout on the floor. And that's, the, that's the case. So we'll take a little quick break and we'll be back to action in just a moment. 
at Missouri Southern Healthcare. Hometown healing means providing the best medical care with those small town touches for over 42 years. MSH offers a wide array of outpatient services and 24-hour diagnostic and emergency services, as well as inpatient care. Serving Stoddard County and the surrounding area with seven medical clinics, including Dexter Internal Medicine Group, Dexter Children's Clinic, MSH Surgery Clinic, MSH Family Medical Care, MSH Bloomfield Family Clinic, MSH Malden Clinic, and our newest addition, the clinic at Walmart. We're your neighbors, your friends, and your family. We're not just closer to home, we are home. And we're back after the timeout. Reindeer called a quick timeout on the turnover, so they will retain possession. Black burn over to Jones. He drives and gets blocked away by Campbell. Nice defense there by Joe Campbell. He'll push it up. He looks to Mize, but he's going to lose it. Turns it back over to the Reindeer. Blackburn brings it up. Marcus Jones with the ball. And Mikey Jones underneath, no good. Rebound goes to Cody Huber. Campbell pushes it up to Walker. Campbell running a small weave here out front. Huber with the ball, gets over to Campbell. He'll drive it, pulls up in the lane. Can't get it to go, rebound to Lano White. Blackburn for three on the right side, good. A nice shot there by Logan Blackburn. Scores the first points of the game. Coming up on six minutes remaining. And shot up no good. Huber with a rebound. And he gets it blocked away. Marcus Jones pushes it up the right side. Goes in the lane, blocked away again by Campbell. Joe Campbell now with two blocks in the game here early on. And Joe Campbell is... He's definitely the leader of this ball club here at Campbell. We've seen him for many years. He's been playing varsity ball uh, full-time, been starting for three years now since he was a sophomore. He's got a lot of experience on the floor for the Campbells. Blackburn wide open in the corner for three, knocks it down again. That's two straight threes for Logan Blackburn. Puts Clarkton up 6-0 early on here in the first quarter. And a dump down to, that's uh, Huber with the basket. Cody Huber with his first two of the game, the first two points for the Camels. Mikey Jones underneath, gets it up no good. And a rebound and put back. That's by Zach Farmer, he's into the game, just checked in, the six, five, six foot five senior. So they've got some size coming off the bench to the reindeer. And pressure by Marcus Jones on Cody Huber out front. He'll commit the personal foul. Be the first foul of the game for either team. First team foul for the Reindeer. Five minutes remaining in this first quarter. And Joe Campbell drives it, puts it up, and in. A tough shot there by Campbell, gets it to go. And the Reindeer push it up quick. That's a three by. That three was up by Antron Jones. He couldn't get it to go. We've got four different Jones for the Reindeer, so be patient as I mentioned them all. Blackburn down to Farmer. He works it in. No good. That's uh, Taylor Mize with the rebound. Campbell with the ball now. He'll go left. Out to Huber for three. He knocks it down. He's got five in the game. It's a nice shot. It was a two-point shot. Okay, we got a mistake there. Two-point shot by Huber. Marcus Jones over to Blackburn. And he's going to be fouled on the drive. That'll be on Quentin Nichols, his first. Team foul number one for the Camels.
And we've got Mark Jones back into the game. Mark Jones inbounds, or looking to, down to Farmer, and a scramble for the ball. And it's going to be Delano White coming away with it. And a couple shots deflected. White stays with it, gets his third putback. On the third attempt, he gets it to go. First two points for Delano White in the game. Under four minutes remaining. And we've got Nick Small into the game. He's, he's got the ball now for the Camels. The five foot ten senior. And Huber gets it out to Mize, and he knocks it down. Taylor Mize with his first two of the game. And a double dribble by Marcus Jones. Turns it over to the Camels, and we've got a 30-second timeout on the floor, and we'll be back after this moment. Hi, I'm Jason. Three twenty remaining in this first quarter, and Clarkton Reindeer enjoy a two-point lead over the Campbell Camels. We saw Clarkton get out to a nice lead. I believe it was eight to two to start out this game, but Campbell coming back with a few offensive series to cut this Clarkton Reindeer lead within two. And Campbell now has the ball, and that's Joe Campbell bringing it up. He works against Mark Jones. We have a Marcus and Mark Jones, so be sure to distinguish between the two tonight. And a pass underneath. Looks like it's going to be a push foul on the pass. That was Cody Huber trying to retrieve the pass. And it'll be fouled by Logan Blackburn, his first. Team foul number two for the Reindeer. Inbound to Joe Campbell. He looks for a three. He pulls up. Rims off. Rebound Blackburn. He pushes it up. Looks for White. He gathers himself. Puts it in. A nice transition bucket there by Delano White. He gathered himself nice. Puts in his third and fourth points of the game. Campbell puts up the three. He knocks it down. Joe Campbell. He's got five in the game. And a travel on the baseline. That'll be committed by Mark Jones. Turns it over to the Camels. Joe Campbell works against Mark Jones. Picks up his dribble, gets it over to Huber. And he tries to dump it down to Myers, gets it deflected. Back over to Campbell, he's open for three again. Rims off. Logan with uh, Logan Blackburn with the ball, he'll drive. Into the paint, up, no good, but he's gonna be fouled on the shot. And he'll be fouled by Nick Small, his first. Team foul number two for the Camels. That sends Logan Blackburn to the line to shoot two. First shot up by Blackburn is good. He's got seven in the game. We've got a substitution in for Campbell. That's uh, Bryce Whiteside, the 5'4 junior, coming in for the Camels. And second shot up, no good. And it's going to be off, out off of Delano White. The Reindeer bring the full court pressure now. Long pass. And it's going to be deflected. Picked up by Blackburn. Pushed ahead to Mark Jones. He drives it baseline. He gets it to go plus the foul. 
So the full court pressure takes off for the reindeer. They force the turnover and a quick basket off the full court pressure. And the foul is charged to Taylor Mize, his first. Team foul number three for the Camels. And shot up and good by Mark Jones. His first points of the game, he's got three. And another turnover and turn back over. And Slade Walker going to be fouled on the dribble. And the foul will be on Logan Blackburn, his second. And Nathan Newhart comes into the game for Clarkton, the 5'9 junior. Walker with the ball, he works against Newhart. And a pass down to Taylor Mize, can't get it to go. And that's Joe Campbell with a rebound, he's gonna be fouled on the rebound. That foul will be on Marcus Jones, his second. So we've got the second reindeer with two fouls now. And that'll be Zach Farmer coming in for Delano White. A lot of size for the reindeer this year. I really didn't expect this amount of size out of the reindeer uh, coming into this year. They've got some nice size. Farmer underneath with 6'5 coming off the bench and Delano White standing at 6'2. They've really got the front court. Meanwhile, that's Joe Campbell missing on the shot. Taylor Mize with the rebound. He's going to be fouled on the putback. And the, the foul will be charged to Antron Jones into the game. The six-foot sophomore, he'll be charged with the foul. Mize gets the first to go. And in for Walker, that's... Uh, Got a few substitutions in here. We've got Quentin Nichols into the game and also uh, a shot no good by Mize, rebound by Farmer. Now, as I was mentioning, that was Whiteside already into the game for the Camels. Joe Campbell to inbound. Huber with the ball. Cody Huber. Over to White's, uh, no, it's uh, Nichols. Turned over. That's Antron Jones with the pickoff. He looks down to Newhart. Down to Mikey Jones. And he's going to be charged with the walk underneath. Turns it over to the Camels. 40 seconds remaining in this first quarter. Clarkton still up by four. Inbound to Joe Campbell. Full court pressure by the Reindeer. Almost gets the turnover. Campbell's going to push it up. And he'll draw the blocking foul. That foul will be charged against... Zach Farmer, his first foul. 34 seconds remaining. White side to inbound. Inbound to Mize. He backs down Farmer, gives it up to White side. Underneath, no good. It'll be a push foul on the rebound against the Camels. And the foul will be charged against Quentin Nichols, his second foul, team foul number four for the Camels. Under 30 seconds remaining now, 25. Antron Jones trapped beyond half court. Gives it up to Marcus Jones, we're down to 15 seconds. Newhart with the ball beyond the three point, he'll put it up, rims out. Rebound buys, pushes it up to Whiteside. We've got five seconds remaining. Joe Campbell, he's got the ball three seconds. He puts up the three, no good. That brings it into the first quarter. The Clarkton Reindeer on top of the Campbell Camels, 
16 to 12 after one. We'll be back with your second quarter up next. First Midwest Bank of Dexter is proud to welcome Chris Geatley as Assistant Vice President and Loan Officer. Chris graduated from Dexter in 2005 and just completed his MBA in finance. He and his new wife Maddie are making Dexter their home. Please stop by the bank and let Jack, Ken, Donna, Mark, or Chris assist you with your next loan request. First Midwest Bank is a proud sponsor of the Dexter Bearcats. First Midwest Bank is a member of FDIC and an equal housing lender. I'm Danny Ford, owner of Glen Sane. We realize the best advertising we have is when our customers tell them about their buying experience at Glen Sane with price and service. We have an outstanding service and parts department that I think you'll be very, very proud of. Every day we come to work and look forward to selling our next GMC truck and have been doing so ever since my late grandfather, Glenn Sane, started the business in 1954. We invite you to come and see us and see why so many are buying from us. And God bless our troops. And we're back getting second for the second quarter here. We got a first quarter score of 16 to 12 in favor of Clarkton. And, uh, Clarkton got off to a good start, but it was Campbell closing the lead here in the first quarter, and we've been stagnant of about a two to four point lead ever since about four minutes to go here in the first quarter. And some first quarter notables like Logan Blackburn, a nice first quarter with seven points for the Reindeer. Joe Campbell with five for the Campbells. Two players to look for for the, rest, the remainder of this game. Reindeer opened the second quarter with the ball, and just a few seconds into the quarter now, we've got a three second violation charged against the reindeer. We've got a few substitutions in here. Chris Vaughn into the game for the Camels. Inbound to Cody Huber. Reindeer still in the full court man to man. Antron Jones works against Huber, gives it up to Walker. And it's close to 10 seconds here. They'll get it. Uh, do not, do not get it across half court. I knew it was coming close there, and Walker couldn't get it across the half line in time. Turns it over to the reindeer. So two quick turnovers here to stop start the second quarter. Logan Blackburn with the drive out to Antron Jones, and he knocks down the three. Pushes the lead up to seven for the Reindeer. Joe Campbell with the ball down to Mize. And shot up no good by Vaughn. Chris Vaughn into the game for the Camels. Blackburn down to White. Nowhere to go on the baseline. Gets it out to Mark Jones. Back over to Blackburn. Mark Jones to Antron Jones. Dumped down to Zach Farmer. He puts it in, or puts it up, no good. That's Mark Jones with the rebound up, no good. And a rebound by Cody Huber. The Camels bring it the other way. Huber with the ball now. This down to Mize, turn around, no good. And it looks like the foul will be against Zach Farmer. Second foul for Farmer. Team foul number seven for the Reindeer. Taylor Myers to the line to shoot two. First shot up is good. He's got four in the game now. Second shot up is good. And a runner, no good by Antron Jones, taken away by the, uh, the Camels. Joe Campbell with the ball now off the left side. And a pass down to Huber underneath, gets it to go. Nice tough shot there by Cody Huber. He's got six in the game.
Ball dumped down to Mikey Jones. Strong move, but it's deflected away as Taylor Mize with the block. Nice defense. Slade Walker, a three in the corner, no good. Rebound Antron Jones. Blackburn pushes it up, looks for White. Dumps it down to Mark Jones, gets it up, no good. Rebound deflected off the reindeer, gives it over to the Camels. Marcus Jones back into the game for the Reindeer. He checks in for Mark Jones. And Julian Nolan into the game for the Reindeer, the five foot nine sophomore. Slade Walker with the ball. Gives it over to Campbell. And a give and goes, deflected. Taken away by Blackburn. He'll push it up into the lane. Up, no good, but it's gonna be a blocking foul against Cody Huber. It'll be his first foul of the night. Team foul number five for the Camels. That'll send Logan Blackburn to the line to shoot two. First shot up from Blackburn is good. He's got eight in the game with that free throw. 5:03 remaining in this game or in this first first half. Second shot is good. Under five minutes remaining in this half. Joe Campbell with the ball. He works against Marcus Jones. He drives left into the paint up on the left side. No good. And a tie up on the baseline for the rebound. And possession will stay with the Camels. Huber inbounds to Campbell. He looks to drive it. Goes up with a runner. No good. Just short. And the ball passed out to Nolan, and he's up for a wide open layup. Julian Nolan with his first basket of the game. Quint Nichols with the ball now. Gives it up to Huber, he'll drive it. And he's gonna put it up and gets it to go. It'll count. He's got a chance at a three point play. Cody Huber with a tough shot in the paint. The foul will be against Justin Moore of the Reindeer. Justin Moore into the game now for the Reindeer, the six foot junior. And Huber gets the free throw to go to capitalize on the three point play. He's got eight in the game, or nine in the game rather. Get past to Logan Blackburn for three. He knocks it down. That's his third three of the game. He's got 12 in the game. Chris Vaughn with the ball gets it out to Campbell. We're under four minutes remaining. Dump down pass and throw it away. Marcus Jones with the ball, he goes up, no good. Can't convert on the layup. Joe Campbell with the ball now, comes up the left side. He'll drive it up in the paint, no good. Short, Huber with the rebound, we're gonna have a tie up. And the possession goes to the Reindeer. A lot of up and down action here in this second quarter. Clarkton pushes his lead up to seven here in this second quarter. Three and a half minutes remaining in the half. Whiteburn dishes it out to Nolan. And Campbell setting back in the two three zone. Looks like Clarkton's trying to set up their offense against the zone. Blackburn dishes down, back out to Nolan. He'll put up the three, no good. Mikey Jones right there with the putback. 
Nice positioning by Jones. He gets his first two of the game. I remember Mikey Jones as a freshman a few years ago, and he really showed some promise, especially with his uh, size underneath, and he's shown it so far right there. And a scramble for the ball, and a tie up, and it'll be with the Camels in this on this series. And into the game for the Reindeer. That's Delano White and Antron Jones. Mikey Jones will take a seat along with Julian Nolan. And into the game for the Camels. Number 23, Nick Small. And a dump down to Mize. Turnaround jumper, no good. Rebound wide. He pushes it up to Antron Jones. He'll put it up in transition, gets it to go. Fast transition bucket there for the Reindeer. Antron Jones has got five in the game. And it looks like we've got timeout on the floor. And we'll be back in just a moment. Hey, I'm Kurt Hillis at Lincoln Lacey Chevrolet. We've got a full line of GMC, Chevrolet, and Buick products. I'll pass it over to my Ford man, Charlie Thacker. GM's not your thing. Come check us out here at the Ford Dodge Jeep store. Check out my man Blake on the internet, LincolnLacey.com. If you don't have time to come down to Malden, check us out on cars.com or allthetrader.com. And if you need financing, I'm going to pass it to my man, Robert Sanders. And our ultimate goal here at Lincoln Lacey, no matter your situation, is to pass the savings on to you. Okay, you're hooked up and ready to go. New Wave knows you're excited about sports, so now's a great time to get connected with the Triple Play Package. Crystal clear TV, high-speed internet, and telephone for only $99.99 a month for 12 months. With New Wave Communications, you've got game. And we're back getting set for action after the timeout here. 2.25 remaining in the first half. Clarkson Reindeer pushed this lead up to 11. They've had a good run here in the past few minutes and getting transition buckets. That's what they've been able to do, secure defensive rebounds, get out in transition, and score on the break. And we've seen probably their past four to six points scored in transition. I'm sure that's why Coach Fowler calling the timeout, saying they need a, a few more safety to get or is, They already had one safety, but need a little bit more help in transition and also converting on the offensive end. And the Camels inbound off the timeout. White side with the ball. Huber with the ball. Looks for the back door. No one there. Mize out to White side. Campbell with the ball now. Two minutes remaining in the first half. White side will drive it. And he's going to walk with the ball. He looked like he might have got a finger in the eye and had nowhere to go. And that's Slade Walker coming in for wide side. Under two minutes remaining. Mark, uh, Mark Jones with the ball out to Antron Jones. Marcus Jones on the drive, puts it up inside the free throw line, gets it to go. Tough shot by, by Marcus Jones, gets his first two of the game. Taylor Mize looks with a backdoor cut. He gets deflected. Delano White with a steal. A minute remaining in this first half. And a foul is committed by Nick Small, his second. Team foul number six. Looks like number six for the Camels. Next foul put the reindeer at the line.
Antron Jones to inbound. He looks for that's uh, Mark Jones on the inbound. Gets a quick, easy two. Mark Jones with five in the game. His first two of the quarter. Cody Huber with a quick shot deflected away by Mark Jones. It'll stay with the Camels. 47 seconds remaining in this first half. Inbound to Slade Walker. He's surrounded, gives it up to Huber on the drive. He'll miss it, but he's going to be fouled, looks like, by Mark Jones. Mark Jones with his first foul, team foul number nine for the Reindeer. That'll send Cody Huber to the line to shoot two. Huber gets the first to go. He's got 10 in the game with that free throw. 42 seconds remaining. And can't get the second to go. Rebound, rebound Mikey Jones. Marcus Jones on the drive to Newhart. And Trail Jones in the corner. Looks down to Mikey Jones, but he's going to skip it over to Newhart. He's open for three. He'll put it up. No good. Rebound. And Trail Jones gets the put back to go. Antron Jones. He's got seven in the game, all in the second quarter. Down to five seconds. Joe Campbell the ball. Spins in the lane. Puts it up. No good. He gets his put back. No good. And Marcus Jones with no time remaining. That'll do it for the first half. The Clarkton Reindeer on top of the Campbell Camels, 36 to 20 in this Tri-County Conference matchup. We'll be back with halftime statistics and discussion with myself up next. Complete customer satisfaction is our number one goal at Allen Christian and Dexter. With Allen, Terry, Bruce, and our experienced sales staff, we make your buying experience simple. We can get you the right vehicle, new or pre-owned, at the right price. No gimmicks, guaranteed. Our selection of Buick and GMCs is second to none. Take a look at our inventory online, or better yet, in person. Plus, after the sale, we'll take care of all your service needs. You'll like the way we do business at Allen, Christian, and Dexter. So you're wondering what's the better deal, cable or the dish? Well, let's see how they size up. The dish has no local office, no ability to provide their own high-speed internet or phone for bundled savings, and can require a two-year contract with hefty early termination fees. Cable, on the other hand, has local offices, its own high-speed internet, and phone services with a lot of great features. New Wave Communications, there really is no better choice. Hi, I'm Tyler Wagner of YHC TV, and I invite you to join us for the Sports Roundtable, Saturday mornings live at 10 a.m. for the first local sports show of its kind in Southeast Missouri and Northeast Arkansas. The show will include appearances from local athletes, coaches, administrators, sports writers, and many other sports commentators. Check us out on Channel 21 of New Wave Communications Cable or live on the web at YHCTV.com. See you then. And we're back at halftime here at Clarkton. Clarkton Reindeer on top of the Campbell Camels, 36 to 20 here at halftime. Let's go over some quick scoring from the first half. We'll start with the leading Clarkton Reindeer. They're led by Logan Blackburn with 12 in the first half. Antron Jones with seven. He had a good, strong second quarter. All seven points coming in the second quarter. Followed by Delano White, or uh, Mark Jones with five. Delano White with four. And Marcus Jones, Julian Nolan, Mikey Jones, and Zach Farmer all with two. And for Campbell, they're led by Cody Huber with 10, Joe Campbell with five, and Taylor Mize with five. So only three scores for the Campbell Camels here in the first half. And I'm sure that's 
a concern that Coach Fowler and the Campbell, the Campbell has at halftime. Just not a lot of scoring here in the first half for Campbell with only 20 points at Clarkton. Not a bad first half, 36 points. They uh, really built on their lead in the second quarter. They were hanging around four points or so early on in the second quarter, and they pushed it up to 16 here at half. We had a uh, first quarter score of 16 to 12 in favor of Clarkton. They built on that four point lead up to 16 points, so they gained 12 points on Campbell there in that second quarter. And just looking back, uh, of course, Logan Blackburn having a strong first half, but they're getting contribution from many reindeer. Uh, we see uh, we've got eight reindeer scoring in the first half, so quite a bit of contribution off the bench for the reindeer. And as I said, Campbell only with three scores, so uh, they definitely look to get some baskets here in the second half. And looking back, they had some opportunities there in the paint. Uh, you know, Joe Campbell not getting the shot to fall there in the paint. He's had some nice drives, and he's been just a little short on his shots. And if he, if he can get some of those shots to fall, we're going to have a closer game here coming down to the end of this game between Clarkton and Campbell. And we'll see how each team adjusts here in the second half. And we're going to be joined here it's, uh, for the second half here in a few moments. And, of course, tonight's game brought to you by Missouri Southern Healthcare out of Dexter, Glen St. Motors ever out of Paragool, Kenneth Rector, Allen Christian, Buick GMC. Out of Dexter, Lincoln Lacey Motors out of Malden. Countywide Insurance out of Advance and Dexter. And, of course, New Wave Communications. Sure appreciate everything they do to help us bring, all, bring you all of these games and especially the live telecast, which we're not live for this contest, but... New Wave makes it happen when we do go live from various locations. And first Midwest Bank of Dexter as well. Didn't want to leave them out. And uh, let's see here. We've got Mikey Jones opening the second half for the Clarkton Reindeer getting on the board. He's got four in the game, Mikey Jones. Clarkton in a man-to-man -man matchup. Slade Walker with the ball now over to Campbell. He'll drive and get taken away, but it looks like it's going to be a foul. That'll be against Marcus Jones, his third. First team foul of the half for the Reindeer. Hubert inbound. He gets it in to Campbell. It looks to, but it's deflected away by Mark Jones. Huber on the inbound. Nowhere to go. He tries to get over to Campbell, but it's knocked away. Campbell having a hard time inbounding. Joe Campbell the inbound. And the inbound goes to Huber. He'll drive it. No good. Rebound to Lionel White. Pushed up to Mikey Jones in transition. Rims off. And a couple putbacks, no good. Marcus Jones with the putback, no good. Mikey Jones finally gets it to go. So it took about four or five opportunities for the Reindeer to get it in, but they do. Under seven minutes remaining in the third quarter. Campbell pushes it up. And he's going to go up and be fouled by Delano White. That'll be his first. Team foul number two on the reindeer. First shot up by Campbell is good. He's got six in the game with that free throw. As I said earlier, Campbell really makes this team go. He's He's been one of the main factors for this team for the past few years. And just struggling getting the ball in the hoop tonight, but he's got seven so far. And we got a push foul on the Camels. That'll be against Quentin Nichols. 
That'll be his third foul. Ball dumped down to Mikey Jones. He gets it taken away by Campbell. Nice steal there by Joe Campbell. He'll push it up the left side. And he's going to commit the travel. Just got a little ahead of himself there in transition. Turns it over to the reindeer. Six and a half minutes remaining in this third quarter. Clarkton looking to build on their 18 point lead. Marcus Jones out to Mark Jones. He drives it over to Delano. He puts up the jumper no good. And he falls his shot, deflects it out of bounds. Ball goes over to Campbell. Campbell works against Mark Jones. Tough man-to-man -man defense by the reindeer. Campbell looks down to Mize. He'll dig in. Can't get it to go. And Mikey Jones with the ball. Goes down to Marcus Jones. Blackburn with the ball now over to Marcus Jones. He puts the shot up and rims out. Rebound White. And he's going to be fouled on the shot in the paint. That'll be the, the foul will be on. Taylor Mize, his second. Team foul number two for the Camels. Delano White to the line to shoot two. First one rims out. Antron Jones into the game for Mark Jones. Second shot up by White, gets it to go. He's got five in the game with that free throw. 5.41 remaining in this third corner. quarter. Cody Huber works against Antron Jones, full court pressure. And the ball taken away by Zach Farmer, but he's gonna be, he'll step on the sideline. And the ball will stay with the Camels. 5.31 remaining. Campbell inbounds to Walker. Taylor Mize. Works against Farmer, he puts it up in the paint, but he's gonna be fouled by Zach Farmer. And Farmer, that'll be his third foul. Team foul number three on the reindeer. Taylor Mize to the line to shoot two. First shot up is good. Second shot up is good. Taylor Mize with seven in the game. Antron Jones over to Marcus Jones. Blackburn in the corner for three. Up, no good. Rebound Mikey Jones and he gets it to go. Nice positioning there by Mikey Jones to pull down the offensive rebound and getting the put back to go. He's got eight in the game, six in the quarter. Vaughn with the ball, he'll drive it right. Gives it up to Mize, he'll put it up inside the three point line, no good. Rebound Mikey Jones. Up to Antron Jones, no good on the layup, but it's Zach Farmer there with the put back. He's got four in the game. 
I'll tell you one thing Clarkton's doing well. They're getting out, running in transition. Not only that, their other players are following well. They're getting the rebounds off missed opportunities, getting the putbacks to go. Mikey Jones had a nice steal, but he, gets, he loses it out of bounds. Gives it back over to Campbell. 45-24 in favor of Clarkton. Four minutes, seven seconds remaining in this third quarter. Slade Walker with the ball. Works against Blackburn. Chris Vaughn with the ball. Down to Huber. And he's going to be fouled. Under four minutes remaining. The foul will be against Zach Farmer. That'll be his fourth. And that'll be Justin Moore coming in for Farmer. And meanwhile, we've got a timeout. And we'll be back after a few moments. Complete customer satisfaction is our number one goal at Allen Christian and Dexter. With Allen, Terry, Bruce, and our experienced sales staff, we make your buying experience simple. We can get you the right vehicle, new or pre-owned, at the right price. No gimmicks, guaranteed. Our selection of Buick and GMCs is second to none. Take a look at our inventory online, or better yet, in person. Plus, after the sale, we'll take care of all your service needs. You'll like the way we do business at Allen, Christian, and Dexter. We're back with you under four minutes remaining. Clarkton pushing their lead up to 21 against Campbell. Campbell really needs to get some offensive production here in the second half to cut into this lead. And Clarkton playing man-to-man -man pressure throughout the whole game, making it tough for Campbell to get some open looks and forced another turnover. Clarkton picking up the turnover with some nice defense. They stayed in the man-to-man -man pretty much the whole game, applying the pressure against Campbell. Antron Jones in the corner for three. Can't get it to go. And Blackburn steps on the baseline, trying to recover the rebound. Gives it over to the Camels. And that's Bryce Whiteside back into the game for Campbell. Three and a half minutes remaining in this third quarter. Chris Vaughn with the ball now. He's going to push it up. Huber over to Campbell. He'll pull up. No good. Out of bounds off of Huber. And the shooting woes continue for the Camels. Having a hard time getting the shot to drop tonight. Delano White looks down to Antron Jones, deflected off of Antron Jones over to the Camels. Clarkton with the full court pressure. Gets it into Walker, he'll drive it to the right side. Campbell with the ball now. He dribbles left, pulls up the lane, dips it off to, let's see who that is over there, but that's uh, Slade Walker with the deep three, no good. Newhart with the ball now. Goes up the right side. Off to Delano White, up in the paint. He can't get it to go, but it'll be, he'll be fouled by Chris Vaughn in the paint. Two thirty-seven remaining in this third quarter. Delano White looks to push the Clarkton lead up. First shot up, rims in. He's got six in the game with that free throw. Pushes the Reindeer lead up to 22. Let's 
Second attempt short. Rebound, Mark Jones. He can't get the put back to go. Huber with the rebound. Crosses over left into the paint. Dish it off to Walker. He gets it up no good. Missed opportunity there for the Campbells. Newhart with the ball over to Mark Jones. He'll drive it. Dumps down to White. Can't get it to go. He's got his put back right there. He can't get it to go. And a scramble for the ball. Mark Jones with the ball now. Newhart drives it left. Fake. Back out to Mark Jones. He'll drive it in the paint. And he gets it to go. But he's going to commit the charge on the drive. It was a nice drive, but it was Cody Huber stepping over to draw the charge. And that's Mark Jones' second foul, team foul number five for the Reindeer. And a deep pass to Joe Campbell. And he gets it to go. Nice deep pass and layup there by Joe Campbell. He's got nine in the game. Marcus Jones the ball, drives against the zone of Campbell and he's gonna be fouled on the drive. And the foul be against Slade Walker, his first. Team foul number four for Campbell. Quentin Nichols into the game for Campbell. Inbound to Mark Jones. He'll drive it. And he gets it to go. Nice runner there by Mark Jones. He's got seven in the game. First two points of the quarter. Campbell with the ball. He goes left, runs in the lane. Can't get it to go. Rebound pushed up to Marcus Jones on the drive. And he'll be fouled on the layup. That was a hard foul into the basket, but no ill will there by Whiteside trying to get back to protect the basket. Brass Whiteside, his first foul. Marcus Jones to the line to shoot two. 58 seconds remaining in this third quarter. First shot up, no good for Marcus. Second shot up, gets it to go. He's got three in the game with that free throw. And now we have Dennis Amos, the 5'8 sophomore, into the game for Clarkton, number 35. Joe Campbell works against Mark Jones. Cody Huber with a pull-up jumper. Looks like he was deflected away. And a foul committed on Cody Huber by Logan Blackburn. That'll be his third foul. Team foul number six on the Reindeer. Sends Cody Huber to the line to shoot two. 42 seconds remaining in this third quarter. Huber misses the first. 
Huber not having a bad game offensively. He's got 10 in the game. Second shot up, gets it to go. 40 seconds remaining. Barton up by 22. Antro, Antron Jones with the ball. He's got it again. He's going to get it over to Blackburn. And a deep pass underneath to Mark Jones. Deflected away. Mark Jones has it again. Out to Blackburn for a three. And it's long. Rebound to... <coughs> The rebound was to Quint Nichols. Now we're under 10 seconds. And a foul on the drive. The foul will be against Logan Blackburn, his fourth. Seven seconds remaining in this game. Cody Hubert, the line to shoot two again. Can't get the first to go. Second shot, good. Five seconds remaining. Marcus Jones with the ball now. Mark Jones in the corner. Oh, it's Antron Jones. He can't get it to go. And that brings it in to our third quarter. The Barton Reindeer on top of the Campbell Camels. 49-28 after three. We'll be back with your fourth quarter up next. Hey, I'm Kurt Hillis at Lincoln Lacey Chevrolet. We've got a full line of GMC, Chevrolet, and Buick products. I'll pass it over to my Ford man, Charlie Thacker. GM, not your thing? Come check us out here at the Ford Dodge Jeep store. Check out my man Blake on the internet, lincolnlacey.com. If you don't have time to come down to Malden, check us out on cars.com or allthetrader.com. And if you need financing, I'm going to pass it to my man, Robert Sandwich. And our ultimate goal here at Lincoln Lacey, no matter your situation, is to pass the savings on to you. First Midwest Bank of Dexter is proud to welcome Chris Geatley as Assistant Vice President and Loan Officer. Chris graduated from Dexter in 2005 and just completed his MBA in finance. He and his new wife Maddie are making Dexter their home. Please stop by the bank and let Jack, Ken, Donna, Mark, or Chris assist you with your next loan request. First Midwest Bank is a proud sponsor of the Dexter Bearcats. First Midwest Bank is a member of FDIC and an equal housing lender. And we're back, getting set for your fourth quarter tonight between the Clarkton Reindeer and the Campbell Camels. And it's Clarkton pushing his lead up to 21 to start this fourth quarter. And it seems as if uh, since the second quarter, Clarkton being able to be consistent in their scoring, being able to get out in transition, get a few easy buckets, and Campbell having to work pretty much out of the half court set all night and struggling to get the shot to fall tonight. And... Uh, Joe Campbell, you know, the main ball handler and feature scorer for the Campbells, having a tough night. He's had some good looks, but, you know, they, uh, the Clarkton defenders have been after him all night, so he's had quite a time to get open looks. But they're going to put up, put forth the best effort they can here in this fourth quarter. Campbell with the ball now. He goes in the paint, and he's going to be fouled on the shot. And the foul will be charged to Delano White, his second. Team foul number eight. That'll send Joe Campbell to the line to shoot two. Campbell can't get the first to go. It's been a privilege to see Joe Campbell playing these past three years. He's been, uh, I think he's been starting a point guard for the past three years for the Camels as he gets the second to go. And he's a, one of the great ball handlers in our area. Handles the ball very well. It's been a privilege to watch him over the past three years. That's Marcus Jones with the ball. Campbell in the 2-1-2 zone, looks like. Newhart with the ball. Marcus Jones will drive it. He'll pull up on the baseline. No good, but it's Delano White right there for the putback. 
He's had a nice game. He's got eight points in the game. Joe Campbell brings it up for the Camels. He looks to drive over to Huber. Campbell on the drive, puts up the runner. He gets it to go. Tough shot for Joe Campbell in the lane. That was probably as hard as, or as tough a shot all night, but he gets it to go. Mikey Jones the other way, gets the easy basket underneath for the reindeer. Mikey Jones having a nice game. He's got 10 in the game. Six and a half rem minutes remaining in this ball game. Taylor Mize looking for the backdoor cut. It's not there. Down to Walker with the ball now. Campbell back with it. He'll pull it out. And Herky Jerk moves the right side. Fadeaway jumper, no good. Mize with the rebound. Tries to get it to Campbell, but he'll be fouled. The foul be against Mark Jones, his third. Team foul number nine, and it should be free throws. And we'll come back with the bonus free throws after this timeout. We'll be right back. I'm Danny Ford, owner of Glenn Sane. We realize the best advertising we have is when our customers tell about their buying experience at Glenn Sane with price and service. We have an outstanding service and parts department that I think you'll be very, very proud of. Every day we come to work and look forward to selling our next GMC truck and have been doing so ever since my late grandfather, Glenn Sane, started the business in 1954. We invite you to come and see us and see why so many are buying from us. And God bless our troops. And we're back. 6.03 remaining in this game. We had a timeout and we've got some free throws coming up or I think it was Taylor Mize that was fouled before the timeout. And the Clarkton Reindeer with nine personal fouls here in the second half. So Taylor Mize go to the line to shoot a one and one And we're glad you joined us right here on YHC for this Tri-County Conference matchup. And down here to, uh, we're probably in the last half of our schedule now. And we'll be getting to more Tri-County conference games. Uh, I know we've got Risco and North Pemiscot coming up this next week. Should be a good game between those two teams. As I remember, they were the two teams in the Class 1 District 1 championship that came down to the wire, and it was Risco coming away with the win and moving on to the state playoffs. So we look forward to that rematch next week. And Taylor Mize gets the first shot to go. He's got eight in the game with that free throw. Second shot up, no good, or is good. Cuts the lead to 20. Marcus Jones working against the half court trap of the Camels, and that's going to be a foul on Joe Campbell with the reach in, his first personal team foul number six for the Camels. 5.50 remaining in this game. Campbell in the two three zone set. Delano White over to Mark Jones. Back over to Newhart, he'll put up the three, gets it to go. Big three-point shot there for Nathan Newhart, the 5'9 junior, his first points of the game, gets the three-pointer to go. And they bring the pressure to Joe Campbell, and he'll be fouled on the dribble. He'll go to the line. The foul will be on Mark Jones, his fourth. Team foul number 10, double bonus for Campbell and the Camels. Joe Campbell's first shot up is good. Got 13 in the game with that free throw.
And gets the second to go. He's got five in the quarter. Newhart with a deep three. He gets his second three to go. Nathan Newhart, six in the game. Two straight three-pointers. Campbell with the ball. Huber on the drive. He'll dish it out to Campbell. Skips it over to Walker. Dishes down to Mize. It's taken away, and it's Walker with the steal. Joe Campbell taking it away over to Huber, and he misses the layup. Pushed the other way. Mark Jones with the ball, kicks it out to Newhart for an open jumper. He gets it to go. Nathan Newhart has the hot, fan, hot hand for the Reindeer, scoring eight straight points for Clarkton. Joe Campbell on the drive. He's going to be fouled. It'll be called on the floor. The shot will not count, but he'll go to the line to shoot two. The foul will be on Mark Jones. He'll foul out of the game. Fine performance for Mark Jones tonight. He finishes the game with seven points. And had a great game defensively as well. He was given the duties of guarding Joe Campbell for most of the night, and that's no easy task. But he did quite a good job on Campbell tonight, and also getting uh, rebounds. He got quite a few rebounds and steals, so... Nice performance for Mark Jones tonight. Joe Campbell to the line. He gets the first to go. Second shot up. Good. And ball deflected away by Campbell. It'll stay with Clarkton. Clarkton enjoying a sizable lead here in the fourth quarter, 61-37, four, uh, 413 remaining in the game. Newhart with the ball, and it's going to be deflected away again by Joe Campbell. Joe Campbell almost coming away with two different steals there. Can't quite retain possession. And a pass underneath to Farmer, taken away. That steal was by Nick Small. Nice defensive effort on his part. Joe Campbell on the drive. And that's Zach Farmer stepping over to take the charge. Joe Campbell committing his second personal foul. That'll be the 17th foul for the Campbells. But no free throws are rewarded on a player control foul. That's why they're not going to the line. Under four minutes remaining in the game. Delano White with the spin, no good, but he's going to be fouled. The foul will be charged to Cody Huber, his second. Delano White to the line to shoot two. First shot up, good. Second shot, no good. Be a push foul on Zach Farmer. And that should be his fifth, if I have it right. That is correct. Zach Farmer fouls out of the game. He finishes with four points. Nice performance by Zach Farmer tonight, coming off the bench and getting a lot of rebounds and a lot of altered shots underneath. Nice performance for Farmer tonight. And that'll send Chris Vaughn to the line to shoot two. Gets the first to go. Three forty-nine remaining in the game. 
Second shot up's good. And we got a visitor up here in the booth. What's your name? And shot up, good. And I just did not happen to see who got that point there. I looked away for a second. We had a visitor up here, uh, up here at the uh, table with us. And shot up, no good. Ball deflected away by Clarkton. The shot up by Dylan Fisher was no good. And Delano White with the steal. Mikey Jones can't get the transition layup to go, but he'll be fouled. And the foul goes against Chris Vaughn. His second foul. Mikey Jones gets the first shot to go. And we've been told the, the basket a few series ago was by Delano White. He'll at least get the credit. Under three minutes remaining now. Logan Blackburn on the drive. Can't get the shot to go, but he's going to be fouled. He'll go to the line to shoot two. The foul is charged to Nick Small. His third foul of the game. Blackman's first shot goes. He got 13 in the game with that free throw. Second shot won't go. Joe Campbell with the ball now. He'll drive it. And he'll be fouled on the layup, but he gets it to go. Got a chance at a three-point play. And the foul will be on Marcus Jones, his fourth foul. Two thirty-six remaining in this game. And he gets the three-point play to go. And Slade Walker coming in for Joe Campbell. He's, he's likely to be done tonight. He had his work cut out for him tonight. And looks like he's got 19 in the game for Joe Campbell. And ball taken away, or almost taken away anyways. That was a... And a lot of fouls here in the latter part of the fourth quarter. And the foul will be charged against... Bryce Whiteside for the Camels. That'll send Logan Blackbird to the line to shoot two. Both teams in a double bonus. First shot up, good. Second shot up is good. And we've got a mass substitution in here for the reindeer. We've got New Hart into the game, Nolan, um, Justin Moore, and a few new faces we haven't seen tonight. That's number 30, Jonathan Maldonado, the 5'11 junior, and for the first time. And Dennis Amos, the 5'8 sophomore, who got a little time earlier. And a runner. Put up and in, that's by number 45, that's Dylan Fisher. And 
a foul by Nick Small, his fourth foul. Amos to the line to shoot two, gets the first to go. Second shot up, good for Amos. Minute 45 remaining in the game. Fisher with the ball. Fisher with it again. He's going to be fouled on the shot. That'll be against Dennis Amos, his first. Dylan Fisher to the line to shoot two. First shot up, good. His first point of the night. No, I take that back. He just scored on the previous series, so he's got three in the game. Second shot up, it is good. to the game for the Camels. That's double zero. Josh Flanagan shot up by Maldonado. No good. Flanagan for three. Can't get it to go. Ball deflected out of bounds by the Reindeer. It'll stay with the Camels. 116 remaining in this game. Flanagan for three, can't get it to go. Newhart with the ball, gives it up to Maldonado on the break, he gets it to go. Jonathan Maldonado with his first two of the game. Push back the other way, that's Slade Walker, can't get it to go. A scramble for the ball, and it'll be tied up. Possession arrow goes to the Reindeer. 54 seconds remaining in this game. Maldonado over to Newhart. Still by Flanagan. Slade Walker with the ball, 40 seconds remaining. Nick Small with the ball. Goes down to Flanagan. He puts it up. No good. Fisher with the ball now. Puts it up. No good. Nick Small with the rebound. He's going to be fouled on the shot. And the foul will be against Nathan Newhart. His first. That'll send Nick Small to the line to shoot two. Shot, uh, first shot up, no good. Second shot up, rims out. And we got a tie up for the ball. And it'll be turned over to the Camels. 15 seconds remaining. Camels looking for a last shot here. They're going to throw it away, looking for Flanagan. Nobody touched it, so no time ran off the clock. 15 seconds. Inbound to Nolan. And ball deflected away, down to three seconds. And a deep three by Nolan, and it's going to be short, bringing it into this game. 73-46, to 46, the Clarkton Reindeer victorious over the Campbell Camels in this Tri-County Conference matchup. And we'll be back with your final game statistics and discussion, again with myself, up next.
at Missouri Southern Healthcare. Hometown healing means providing the best medical care with those small town touches for over 42 years. MSH offers a wide array of outpatient services and 24-hour diagnostic and emergency services, as well as inpatient care. Serving Stoddard County and the surrounding area with seven medical clinics, including Dexter Internal Medicine Group, Dexter Children's Clinic, MSH Surgery Clinic, MSH Family Medical Care, MSH Bloomfield Family Clinic, MSH Malden Clinic, and our newest addition, the clinic at Walmart. We are your neighbors, your friends, and your family. We're not just closer to home, we are home. Hi, I'm Jeff. Customer satisfaction is our number one goal at Allen Christian and Dexter. With Allen, Terry, Bruce, and our experienced sales staff, we make your buying experience simple. We can get you the right vehicle, new or pre-owned, at the right price. No gimmicks, guaranteed. Our selection of Buick and GMCs is second to none. Take a look at our inventory online, or better yet, in person. Plus, after the sale, we'll take care of all your service needs. You'll like the way we do business at Allen Christian and Dexter. Okay, you're hooked up and ready to go. New Wave knows you're excited about sports, so now's a great time to get connected with the Triple Play Package. Crystal clear TV, high-speed internet, and telephone for only $99.99 a month for 12 months. With New Wave Communications, you've got game. And welcome back, and we're here for post game between this Tri-County Conference matchup tonight between the Clarkton Reindeer and the Campbell Camels. Clarkton coming away with a sizable victory over Campbell tonight, 73 to 46. And we'll go over some quick final game statistics for you. Uh, for the victorious Clarkton Reindeer led by, uh, looks like it's led by Delano White by, with 11. A lot of balanced scoring for the Reindeer tonight. Uh, Delano White with 11 followed by Nick, uh, Nathan Newhart with eight points all coming in the in the fourth quarter in this game and followed up by Antron Jones with seven. Uh, let's see. No, I've got a few ones wrong here. 12, 13, 14, 15. I think it's 15 for Logan Blackburn. That'd be headed up by Logan Blackburn with 15, followed by Delano White with 11. Uh, Nathan Newhart with eight. Antron Jones with seven. Mark Jones with seven. Zach Farmer with four, Marcus Jones with three, and both Jonathan Maldonado and Dennis Amos with two. And for the Campbell Camels, headed up by Joe Campbell with 19. Uh, majority of those coming in the fourth quarter. He had a hard time getting the, the shot to fall tonight, which Clarkton did a good job with swarming him, making it difficult, but he still comes away with 19. Followed by Cody Huber with 12. Taylor Mize with nine, Dylan Fisher with four, and Chris Vaughn with two. And the final score, 73 to 43. Is it a 43 or 46? 46, okay. Uh, just to talk a little bit about the game. Uh, Clarkton, impressive tonight. They, they took care of the ball, didn't turn it over very often, and they've got some size underneath. They really do. I was really surprised to see with, with what kind of depth they've got underneath. They've had Delano White with with some good size underneath and Mikey Jones only standing at six foot. He, he takes up space down there and I remember seeing him as a freshman playing very well as a freshman and playing underneath and he's done the same so far this year and did so tonight for the Reindeer and also Zach Farmer coming in off the bench standing at 6'5". He really takes up a lot of space and does well defensively Probably more than anything, being in there in a 6'5 frame, it uh, it can cause some havoc for his oppose is a uh, you know his his opposers there underneath. So uh, a fine performance and 
out front. You know, they, they're, they're pretty well balanced out front. Logan Blackburn hitting three threes tonight, so he's got a nice jumper from the outside. Marcus Jones and Mark Jones provide some good, you know, defensive pressure for the Reindeer, and they take care of the ball. So very impressive effort by the Clarkton Reindeer tonight. And looking at Campbell, you can tell that uh, they've had a few players graduate. They've had a couple good teams in the past few years, and you, pretty much when it comes to high school basketball, if you've got a few good teams for a, for a few years, that means you're going to be losing a few, and you can tell that uh, they've lost a few players over the years, and they've struggled this year coming into this game 4-9. and nine. They now go to 4-10, and 10, and Clarkton goes to 10-4. and four. So you can see where both teams – are at in this season. But Joe Campbell, you know, a nice performance, 19 points. And it's been a privilege to watch him, as I said earlier in the broadcast, for three years. He's been uh, kind of the heart and soul of the Campbell Camels over the past few years. And we'll hope, hopefully we'll see him down the road some more. But uh, other than that, Campbell having a hard time getting the, the shot to fall tonight. Open shots were hard to come by. And uh, you can just tell they're, they're really having a hard time offensively. But Hopefully by the end of the year they'll they'll be playing their best ball and make a, make a run there in that Tri County Conference and that was a good matchup tonight. Cl- uh, Campbell and Clarkton both out of the Tri County Conference and the, the first time we've showed these two teams this year, either one of them. So it was nice to get down here to Clarkton, see both of these teams go at it out of the Tri County Conference, and we'll be bringing you more Tri County Conference games in the near future. And what comes to mind, I believe we've only had Gideon and. Uh, Who's the other one I'm thinking of? Hawkham. Get in at Hawkham. I think it's the only two teams out of the Tri-County Conference we've had this year. But tune in to YHC Sports for next week. We'll have North Pemiscot and Risco next Tuesday night. Should be a great one between those two teams. And not a bad one tonight between Clarkton and Campbell. And we sure appreciate for tuning in. And we had Rick DePriest as our director tonight. And also Haley Stockton on the camera. Sure appreciate their efforts tonight as well. And that's all we have for you tonight. Sure, thank you for tuning in. No Robin for Batman tonight. Uh, had to go, had to be the lone wolf tonight. A lot of people out doing many things, so had to bring it all to you to myself tonight. Hopefully you could, you could bear it, not having a commentator to share it with. But nonetheless, glad you tuned in, and be sure to catch another game right here on YHC Sports.